Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 4th of February 2022. Taking a look here at Ethereum as we're transitioning in. If you hear some sounds in the background, I'm here in uh, uh, my hometown here for a, just got done with a, a funeral. And um, so, yeah, if you hear a lot of noise, there's like 20 people in the house. So, um, Ethereum, nice close above, or nice push above the uh, uh, three week. Uh, Kijin Sen, so that's holding his really nice support zone. Fast forward to the or fast forward. Looking at the weekly chart, we identified some hidden bearish or hidden bullish divergence, rather, um, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, last week maybe. I, I can't recall off the top of my head, but we looked at this really nice uh, hidden bullish divergence, especially how it was playing off of the single span B and then uh, especially on the weekly how it uh, opened kind of right on top of single span A but we've had a pretty nice move above it uh, the nice thing about this rise it's it's pretty in tandem with the oscillators or you could think of it as the oscillators are moving uh, in tandem with price so we're not getting this you know really big hidden bearish divergence that would pop up actually if it was hidden bearish divergence would be invalid anyways so we don't have a clear a bear trend on the weekly chart um oops Had to do this then going over to the daily chart so if you remember you know we had this breakdown below this this uh this bull flag that is represented as a linear regression channel uh came down retested it between january 13th and this and the 17th and just kind of capitulated lower and now we've had this uh, nice a breakout and we're kind of retesting that zone okay um there was this hidden bearish divergence that appeared and it looked like it was going to play out i mean if you were somebody on tuesday and you know sorry wednesday and thursday and you were looking at it like okay well this is the bearish continuation setup it's going to move lower there's a lot of good reasons why i mean there was a lot of reasons why you would why you would have believed that would, would play out. Um, today could just be a huge bull trap because ultimately if Ethereum fails to move back above into the bull flag here, it's going to test this. If it tests it as resistance, then you know just another dip and uh, that 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 might trigger a lot of reselling, but we'll see. But for right now, it's got a nice close or, or a nice push up here on the daily. You know, the 3,000 levels is a big source of resistance. Just the natural 3,000 level psychological value of it is, is tough. Uh, but ultimately, what you need to see Ethereum do to get back inside that bull flag is it needs to have a close around 3050, 30, 3,050. 30, that that roughly be the, the zone that it would need to close at. So that does it for me on Ethereum from All Street Exchange Rates UK TV. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.